Most times, one particular Rio Rancho road is perfectly fine, but 10 times a week, it becomes a nightmare. And now Rio Rancho residents want something changed. News 13's Candace Hopkins explains. Candace. Alex, at the start and end of school days, the area around Rio Rancho High School on Loma, Colorado transforms. Residents say there's no other way to put it. All hell breaks loose. It's around 2.30 in the afternoon on a Friday, and Rio Rancho High School just let out for the day. Kids eager to get out of Dodge go pouring out of the student lot. It's like, got to get out of here as fast as we can. They'll cut through here. They blow all the stop signs. They're going at least 45 miles an hour through here. Some residents say they're speeding and reckless driving leads to major headaches. I try not to drive during before and after school hours. A lot of times I would come the other direction, <laughs> to be out perfectly honest. Residents say the major problem areas are the roundabout outside the student lot and the areas where parents wait to pick up their kids. It's pretty dangerous. Um, you got the kids zipping around and not paying attention and they're speeding and you know they're coming out of the student parking lot and they're wanting to get into the left hand turn lane and they're just cutting right across and not signaling and not paying attention. It just seems chaotic. Yeah, because nobody knows when to go and when to stop, so everybody's just going. Like this student who sped into the roundabout, cutting off a long line of buses. I've seen ones that have come real close to hitting people. I've seen ones go over the roundabout instead of around it. People say the roundabout, while confusing for some, is helping with traffic flow. The city just put it in a few years ago, but residents say it's gotten bad enough again lately that they think someone needs to be out directing traffic again, or? I think having heavier police out there would really at least make people more aware of what they're doing so they don't get ticketed. We reached out to Rio Rancho Police to show them our video of the traffic problems there. They declined to watch it, but they did tell us they've reached out to the school to talk about possible solutions. Back to you, Alex. All right, Candace, thank you very much. As for the school district itself, we wanted to know what they were doing about the issue. No one there decided to return our calls.